Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Geno's log. Start date 2020-0725. Today has been a day of frustrations. Pulled my little trailer out. It's gonna go to uh, one of the local lumber yards. Actually, the lumber yard about a 30 mile drive. Pick up a bunch of stuff for some work I'm doing. Hook it up. Lights aren't working. So, spent the next half hour figuring out what was wrong with them. It was a bad connector on my truck. Bad uh, receptacle on my truck. Got that all cleaned up. Got them working. Found out I had one bad bulb. <sighs> Go track down a bulb, replace the bulb. Hit the highway. As soon as I get on the interstate, the trailer is wobbling all over the place. If I did any more than 65 miles an hour, I couldn't hold it straight. It was shaking the rear end of my truck bad. So, next exit, take it back to the truck and find that something is so loose that uh, I can actually move the, the wheels back and forth a half inch to an inch. I mean, that's how loose they are. So if you're driving down the road, it's just going to flop all over the place. Not sure exactly what that is. to that I've got uh, uh, one company truck in the shop right now the dealership so far behind that they they've had it for a week and haven't even had a chance to do the diagnostics on it the other truck just got out of the shop had a broken motor mount luckily we caught it the guy says that uh, we were close to losing the engine in this thing and I believe it so, my truck's going in for some issues I've been having for years. It's the one I'm driving right now. Years, for months at least, uh, close to two years. And it's just been getting progressively worse and nobody can find it. So, I'm taking it to an, another dealership who has some ideas of what it could be. And these are not ideas that were touched upon by others in the past. So, I'm hopeful. So now, the final frustration, I drive to 30 some miles to this, to buy materials, tools, and uh, they don't have all the tools I need. I want to get extra batteries for these tools. They have one set of extra batteries. I wanted two sets of extra batteries. Didn't have them. Oh frustration looking for a framing nailer Milwaukee M18 fuel that's what this stuff's called framing nailer they had framing nailers there but use smaller nails I need something that's going to do at least 16 penny they didn't even stock it so no wonder people want to do online shopping because you walk into a place that supposedly has it and they don't. Wanted to get a palm nailer. Well, they got them in pneumatic. I don't want pneumatic. I want electric. Didn't have that. Man, just frustrated. Frustrated, frustrated. So, just hoping that my frustrations are done for the day driving down the interstate right now 
just realized I wasn't watching my speed. Hadn't plugged in the, uh, the cruise control. And guess what? I'm coming up on a state trooper. So let's just hope that uh, uh, I wasn't doing something that allowed him to pull me over. We'll find out here in a second. So, so far, that's my issues today. Oh, hey, on a happy note today, I bought a gun. The Walther PPK slash S 22 long rifle. What's that? It's a little handgun, compact handgun. It's uh, uh, kind of heavy compared to my Glock, but it's comfortable. Um, I love my Glock because of the way the safeties are designed on it. Which most people say there are no safeties. There, there are. It's just not what most people would consider the perfect safety. The uh, the P Walter PPKS has several safety features on it that make it next to impossible to fire without trying. So, uh, just one more thing to go in the arsenal for. There you go. But I bought a gun today, fairly, uh, fairly good price. I'm happy.